This is uh, the new Michelson 43 Zeus. Um, it's a uh, really exceptionally uh, unique boat in that uh, the Zeus drives are on a sport fisher, and uh, we're one of the first to be able to do that because of our uh, aft engine design. Michelson came out with the Michelson 43 back, and our first one was built in 1997. It's a Tom Fexus design. And in fact, uh, Mr. Fexus uh, knew he was going to get one of these 43s, so he spent uh, a great deal of uh, extra time uh, going through in the design, and it really shows in, in a lot of the detail. One of the unique things about the Michelson is the open foredeck area. This is done for uh, pre predominantly for light tackle fishing, and it's a real advantage not to have the windlass up here. Many of our customers like to put their uh, ribs or inflatables up on the foredeck and, and chocks up here with a davit. Um, so we uh, implemented these Weikert uh, D-rings as standard on the boats. These are, uh, I think they're rated at 12,500 pounds each. And what it does is it uh, is a very safe way to keep everything locked down on the foredeck as opposed to having hardware that's installed on, just through the deck itself um, that can pull out in the event that uh, you know, you had uh, extreme, extreme catastrophic type seas coming over the bow. Michelson 43 has 13 inches of width on the side decks, which is ample room to walk around without uh, having your foot get crossed up. Notice the handrails all along so that anytime you're on the side deck or you're traversing the boat, you've got safety handrails all the way along so that you're not going to be uh, apt to fall over the side. We're now in the cockpit of the Michelson 43, and as you can see, it's a huge cockpit for a 43-foot boat with plenty of uh, area to, for a few anglers to fight a few fish at the same time. In addition to having tons of room for fishing, um, this is an optional cockpit head here, which makes it really nice because the anglers don't have to trudge through the boat when it's uh, time to uh, use the restroom. So this is very convenient, has a built-in shower. This is a tackle center here that has uh, plenty of space for all your tackle. This is an optional overhead uh, tackle center and it gives you plenty of room for storage. You can install VHF radios here and then we left this area large enough so that if you want to have a navnet screen or electronic screen, you can install it in this location here. In addition, we have the dual bait tank system here, which uh, will hold uh, three scoops of, of bait or a scoop and a half per side. You can use the tank as one unit because there's a divider in it and the divider is made so it's removable. So if you want to use two different types of bait, you can keep them separated. The uh, engine room access is uh, through the center hatch here and there's a ladder there to get down to it. But this center hatch certainly shows you the uh, Zeus system the best and opens it up. You can see there's a tremendous amount of space, available space outboard of the engine. And this in the past used to be taken up by exhaust and then we had a steering shelf in the back with a Zeus because it has its own steering built in. It has the cooling water system um, built in. It has the exhaust system all built in. Everything was able to be removed so that virtually all this space becomes available for storage and, and other uses. Many customers have inquired about the maintenance schedule on a Zeus engine versus conventional drives. And the owner's manual uh, has a list of the uh, recommended uh, maintenance steps, but they really are no more than what the uh, conventional drives are. It's a, it's a very short list with very few items. This uh, console system handles all the electronics that a customer um, could, could ask for. Uh, additionally, it's ergonomically laid out so that um, it's easy to see. This area is generally um, reserved for navigation systems, uh, chart plotters, uh, items like that. Uh, these are your are your smart craft vessel views that come with the um, Zeus drives, which give you a, an amazing plethora of, uh, of different optional screens to look at. Everything from the engine boost to the direction of each pod, and uh, whether it's in forward or reverse while you're using the jog stick. Um, the other advantages that you get, of course, with the with the Zeus system, is you get a, a virtual bow thruster because you don't a bow thruster is not needed when you have a Zeus system. 
It comes with the autopilot, which includes the skyhook feature and, and has many different uh, features in, involved on it. This, uh, this Michelson 43 Zeus is equipped with the optional uh, stid chairs, which uh, have become very popular over the years, and uh, we sell very few of them without these. They're uh, extremely uh, uh, safe and comfortable chairs, and they have a list of uh, lengthy features on them. We have an aft galley design, which is really uh, a nice, very nice design for this boat because we have the cockpit head um, outside um, in the cockpit, and that area is not usable for windows, obviously. So it's a great place for the refrigerator, and having a forward-facing refrigerator on a um, any boat is really a good idea because um, the food and whatever the contents of the refrigerator tend to slide aft, so they slide away from the door as opposed to into the door. And many of your boats that have refrigerators that are aft facing, you have a problem of contents falling out when you open the door. So that's a great place for the refrigerator. This is a, 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 an island that we've been doing for a while, but this is the first what we call our U-shaped island, which has, it's not just sticking out straight, it has some shape to it, and it really makes it a lot prettier. We're using granites, real granites that is honeycomb backed and it's uh, used largely in the uh, aircraft industry. It's much lighter than standard granite and uh, you can order your Michelson 43 with a variety of beautiful granites now. So that's a real plus. We're using the new soft touch um, princess stove top which has no dials. Everything is done with the buttons right here. That's a real nice feature. And then here is your sharp convection microwave um, broiler oven um, so you can do everything from microwave a cup of coffee to cooking a turkey on Thanksgiving. This is the 25-pound uh, capacity Uline ice maker um, which is a very popular option and this uh, up here is the Sharp Aquos 32-inch uh, uh, LCD flat screen which is a great uh, television, and underneath it is the electrical panel, which is very clearly marked. You've got this side for 120 volt, this side for 12 volt. Just above the uh, steps that lift up to go under the salon is a popular option on the Michelson 43, and it's an Emerson 8-bottle wine cooler um, that's built in under the settee. Because the engines on the Michelson are designed to be aft so that we can use the the Zeus, the Cummins Zeus pod drive systems. Our fuel tank is located right on the center of gravity midship and the fuel capacity on this boat is 600 gallons standard and we can raise it to 800 gallons uh, as an option. But it, what it does is it opens up a huge storage area in the center of the boat that I'm going to show you how to get to right now. Forward in the Michelson 43 is the stateroom and the head area. And we have a guest stateroom on the starboard side here, and we have a master stateroom forward. And we have the head on the port side. Um, this Michelson 43 is hull number 59. So uh, over the last uh, 11 years, we've built a few of them, and we have refined the interior arrangement down to the point where I think it really, really works well. We're unique in that we use the boats that we sell and uh, the owners of the company, um, uh, me being one of them, I've owned oh probably 10 different Michelsons over the years. And the reason that we do this is we love boating, of course, but also to help us improve different areas. And as we use the boat, we we get ideas and thoughts on how we might improve this system or that system. So over the years we've developed what we feel is the most reliable, best systems throughout the boat that, that money can buy. And that's not just from our own experience, but it's also from customers' feedback, uh, warranty calls, and that kind of thing. you got to remember that we're not a production boat builder, so we don't build uh, 20 of them exactly the same and then another 20 exactly the same. We build them one at a time.